All right, how's everybody doing today? My name's Keith Callahan, and this is the Built to Last Network Marketing Show. It's a show where we focus on teaching you how to build a large organization that lasts and, and freedom of time to do what you want, when you want, with who you want. And not only do I teach in our industry, I'm also an active network marketing professional just like you. I have a team of over 25,000 distributors. So the stuff that I'm teaching you, this isn't just theory. This is exactly how I build my business. So today I want to talk to you about the three levels of communication that all leaders' businesses are built upon. So the, these are really the – so there's three levels of communication, but one of these levels – all the leaders, every leader that I know, everybody that's built a large organization, they have this one communication skill. And here's the deal. When we're looking at how we communicate with our teams, the level of our communication skills are going to determine two things. It's going to determine the amount of people we're able to influence, and it's also going to determine our paycheck. So let's get in there. Let's talk about these three different ways of communicating with people. So the first way is just training somebody. And when we first get started, this is usually what we learn how to do. So what I mean by training somebody in our industry is this is what I do, just do exactly what I do. So maybe someone will give you an email template or maybe they'll tell you, you know, post on social media at this exact time and write this thing down. Um, but the the first level is really just training someone. And if we think about it, like what happens when we're training someone, and, and we have to do this, like we have to get somebody trained in our industry, but it's a very low level of communication. It's a very low level of leadership. The second level is we can actually move into teaching them. And here's how this, here's how I define this. So if training is copy what I do, teaching is this is how it works for me. Now go figure out how it can work for you. So this might be this is how I've been um, sharing on social media. This is, this is my social media calendar. On this day, I talk about this. On that day, I talk about that. Um, you know, once a month, we do a, a big push for our products. Once a month, we do a big push for the business opportunity. Here's sort of how I communicate with people. So you're really, you're teaching somebody what it is that we do. So you're moving past that training, which is saying, again, the training is just copy this, copy exactly what I'm doing, post it up, and we'll just, we'll just spam this out as much as possible. Teaching is, it's a little bit deeper. It's getting into, here's how I run my business. And I've seen some amazing leaders on Instagram right now, especially they're, they're teaching about Instagram stories. This is what's working for me. Watch what it is that I'm doing and then adapt it to you. Make sense? So that's sort of a teaching. Here's the third level. The third level of communication within our industry is inspiring people. And this is when you have the ability to communicate with people in an inspirational way, you're able to help them to that you're able to breathe life, breathe hope, breathe inspiration into their lives. And when you do that, you can help them see themselves more than where they are today. You can help them help them see themselves bigger than where they are today, more successful. You can help to help them see this business, see their life, see see life in general through a different set of lenses. And I want to tell you why I wanted to share this today. So in my business right now, what we're going through is we, we've had a lack of inspiration 
in our business as a whole, and some of that's trickled into my business. So I got together with a group of, the, of leaders on my team, and I said, let's all run a group. We have a new product that's coming out. We have a new product launch right now. And I said, let's all get together. Let's get all of our people together. Let's get all of our existing distributors onto the same page. Let's get all of our existing distributors in this private Facebook group. Let's get them to go through and experience this new product that we have that's coming out. And what wound up happening is we get everybody in the group, everybody's starting to get inspired, everybody's starting to get excited, but us leaders, what we started to focus on is, okay, let's, let's, train, let's train everybody on this, let's train everybody on that, let's teach people how to do this, let's show them the exact scripts that we're doing, and let's just give them all this information, let's, let's you know, breadcrumb it so people can know exactly what they need to do. And that's a very, very important skill but that's a skill that'll build you a business to go, that's right here. If you want to become a leader in this business, if you want to take a quantum leap, if you want to start seeing other leaders start to emerge in this business, what you need to focus on is inspiring people. Inspiring people to take action. Because here's the thing, if we're training and teaching all the time, it's always like slogging through and it's always, it's trying to get people motivated. It's trying to get people excited. It's trying to get them to see your vision. Rather than doing that, if you focus on inspiring people, they're going to take the action and by themselves. If you focus on inspiring people, they're going to figure out how to train themselves. They're going to take initiative to teach themselves. They're going to figure out the things that they need to do to be successful in this industry. So when you're communicating with your people, if you're a leader, and whether you're just communicating with your customers, and especially when you're communicating with your team, focus on inspiration. Focus on getting them to see the vision and the dream of what this business can do for their, their lives. Focus on getting them inspired to take action. Focus on getting them to see themselves not as they are, but as they can be. Make sense? So when we're working with group especially and when we're working with leaders, we, there's certain things we need to train on and there's certain things we need to teach on. Here's a secret though. Most network marketing companies will do the training and do the teaching for you. As a leader, what your job is, is to inspire those people that you're bringing in. And if you've been doing this business for a while and you're still looking for that person who's going to do something, you know, maybe you've brought in 10, 20, 30, 100 people and nobody's done anything. Maybe it's because you focus just on training and teaching and you haven't yet started inspiring. All right, that is everything for today. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody taking the time to tune in. I'm truly grateful for the opportunity to help. And you know, here's the most important part. If you find this valuable, make sure to share it with your team. You know, as leaders, our success is not dependent on what we do. It's dependent on what duplicates within our downlines and our organizations. All right, have a beautiful, beautiful week.